Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Ayana here, and in today's video, I'm going to be talking about going back to school. I can't believe I'm talking about going back to school because I, I just didn't think that I could ever see myself attempting to go back to school. I did schooling that gave you uh, certifications but I never decided to go to college because it just wasn't my thing. And I have, I wouldn't say learning disabilities, but I have a really hard time um, picking up information. And I had a little, I had a lot of struggles like ever since elementary school. So I just never thought that I could do college, but um, here I am getting ready to register for the spring of 2020. <laughs> So yeah, let's get into this. So I am going back to school um, for my first, I'm going to start off with my associates in psychology studies. My long, long-term goal for school is to eventually get my PhD in clinical psychology, specializing in cancer, because I feel like that field is just so perfect for me. and. There's so many misconceptions with mental health and cancer and I feel like I could do a lot of research in that field and crack the codes, I guess. <laughs> I've recently met with the person who runs like the disability department of um, my local community college and the woman that I talked to was super, 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 super helpful when it came to getting information about um, special accommodations for me because I technically am disabled. So yeah, she gave me lots of information about if I qualify, which I think I already am going to, uh, what accommodations that I would have. And reading them, it's kind of similar to what I had like in high school. So extra time on my exams, uh, maybe using a calculator, using my notes, um, you know, all, you know, all that kind of thing. So that's really reassuring because I know my mind isn't the same since chemo. Um, my memory is just really shot and I can't retain certain things and I stumble over words a lot more than I used to and it kind of worries me. So I'm glad that she was able to answer the questions that I had about how my disability will affect me going back to school and so technically I'm not going back to school after cancer because my cancer is chronic and I am still doing maintenance treatment but I am an ED have been for about two and a half years now so Hopefully I'll stay that way. The school that I'm going to is really awesome. They offer a program where if you do two years there, they offer you um, a program where all of your credits will be transferred to a local um, state school of your choice. So that's really, really cool. And I plan on doing my two years there with them and then going for my bachelor's of science um, at one of my local state schools, which I think is really, really awesome because I've heard in the past, not all schools would um, able you to transfer all of your credits. And that's one less thing that I have to stress about. So I'm super thankful for that. At this time, with the help of the woman in charge of the disability department, we've decided that <clears throat> I'm only going to take one class for now just to see how I do and especially because I'm going to be starting chemo again um, it's just better off better safe than sorry for me to take only one class at a time and I completely agree because I just don't want to be overwhelmed with dealing with the symptoms of that and school at the same time mm -mm. Yes, I am very, very, very excited about starting school, but you know, the whole fact that I'm on maintenance, chemotherapy, and then the chance that my cancer, you know, can't come back, is kind of messing with my mind and making me 
not want to stop but definitely I'm super cautious and just about the whole thing um, I really don't know what to expect because I can have some really rough days on chemo so <clears throat> I'm really just hoping that um, everybody will work with me so far they've been super attentive um, to my needs and my questions everything's gone pretty smoothly so far so I have faith in this <laughs> another thing that I've really been able to think about since being cancer free is my education and my career path and what I want to do with my life um, and I think that I've been given an awesome opportunity to live for the second time and I think broadening my education you know along with my traveling is a really great way to do that and enjoy my life as much as I can and take all these awesome opportunities that just keep flying my way and making good use of them so um, that's really about it I just wanted to let you guys know that I will be starting school in spring of 2020 and though I know the education road is very long, I'm doing it in chunks and taking it day by day. And that's all that matters. I'm excited. I guess I'll keep you guys updated on anything else that happens. Maybe I'll even start a vlog about going back to school after dealing with cancer and while going through cancer. So. That'll be interesting. Like this, subscribe, and I will see you guys again soon. Bye.